Center in Seminole is out tonight. And firefighters are crediting a man with a drone for helping them get crews and equipment to exactly the right spot. Eagle 8 flew over the fire, and you can see the little white drone skimming the treetops, providing a bird's eye view of the flames below. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in Seminole. So how about it? Can we expect to see drones added to the list of must-have items for firefighters now? Good evening, Jen. That very well could happen, that there are some sticky spots along the way. Look behind me. This is some of the remnants from today's fire. There are burning embers and some burning flames still uh, burning right now, and it's uh, putting some smoke out onto the road. In this case, the uh, dense woods made it difficult to pinpoint where they should send the dozer and the brush trucks. The drone helped them keep this four-acre fire from spreading. Thick smoke billowed into the air across from Osceola High School in the Lake Seminole Preserve Equestrian Area. Eagle 8 spotted this drone helping firefighters. The drone owner gave firefighters this look at what they were up against. He flew the drone over the fire, allowing them to plot an attack. Actually, it helped us make our decisions on how we wanted to fight the fire to be defensive in nature, and we saw the topography of the land, how dense the vegetation was, and whether it was practical or not to get units back in there. I love it. I love it. Bert Scyther is a drone fan and pilot. He's excited about the drone helping at this fire and what they could do in the future. This is, I think, uh, a great benchmark that we can take as a society that drones are very helpful. It can be very helpful when used uh, properly. Like streaming live video of disaster zones or water parks or places where a chopper may not be able to go. Any place that there's a camera now uh, that's, you know, stuck in one spot, you know, have something that can actually move around and monitor, ter sa monitor safety. In this case, using this drone video, firefighters decided to let the fire burn itself out. I think we're probably going to see uh, fire departments across the country uh, starting to uh, ask for these in their budget. Eight on your side wanted to know if a drone is in their future. Would there be a possibility that Seminole Fire Rescue might invest in one of these things? We'd like to down the road. We'll have to look into that for sure. <laughs> Look into it for sure. Well, eight on your side wanted to know if this drone flight was legal. I spoke to attorney Brant Hathaway from the website dronelaw.com. He says this drone flight falls under the hobbyist category, so in this case, it was most likely legal. Jen? Okay, I'm hearing you, but what if the fire department had a drone and launched it at today's brush fire? All right, that's where it gets a little dicey. That same attorney tells me that they would have to get a federal authorization from the FAA, but he also tells me that the FAA is reviewing some of those rules and things like that could change. So, kind of interesting. Okay for the hobbyists, not necessarily okay for the fire department, but that could change. Interesting situation. All right, Peter Bernard, live in Seminole. Thanks.